Did you know businesses see a 200% increase in conversion rates from a well-designed user interfaces? Or are 88% of online consumers less likely to return to a site after a bad user experience? These figures highlight the crucial impact of UI and UX design in today's digital landscape. Now, these terms may sound similar, but they play very different roles in creating the digital experiences we love. In this video, we'll look at both the worlds of UI and UX design, and by the end, you'll have a clear understanding of the responsibilities and skills required for each role, helping you decide which path best aligns with your interests and goals. We've put in extensive research and gathered insights with top industry professionals to bring you the most accurate and engaging information. Whether you're considering a career in design or just curious about how the tech world works, this video has something for you. But before we start our video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Now let's get started. First, it's important to define these two terms, UI design or user interface design. It's about the aesthetic experience. A UI designer would have been involved in designing the app's lock, considering the space between elements, their layout, the amount of information on each screen, and ensuring it's easy for users to click on items. Whereas UX design or user experience design is about designing the whole experience. Think about a mobile app that you use every day. A UX designer has helped decide what features will be in that product, how they work, and how they feel while using them. Although UI and UX designers both work on product design, they focus on different aspects. To make it clearer, let's break this down. User interface refers to the specific thing you interact with, like remote control with buttons or microwave with a dial. It's a tangible interface through which you achieve something. For example, a messaging app such as WhatsApp. With intuitive navigation and visually appealing design makes it easy to find contacts and send messages. Even if the interface looks great, without good UX, the overall experience might still be poor. Whereas user experience involves many different elements, including how you feel, where you are, and what happens when you interact with something. For example, your WhatsApp loads slowly and requires numerous clicks to send a message. Even if the app looks great, the frustrating experience will make you not want to use it. To help you better understand, let me give you a very simple and easy explanation of UI and UX in our daily life. To begin with, let's take a look at the UI example first. So imagine a restaurant. UI is the table setting, dishes and cutlery. So we're talking about how it looks and feels. On the other hand, UX is the service, menu and the overall dining experience. Here we're talking about how enjoyable and efficient the experience is. So, to sum it up, UI is about creating a visually appealing interface, like a beautifully set table. Organized, like a neatly arranged table setting. And functional, like using the right cutlery for different food types. Just as a good table setting enhances the dining experience by being visually pleasing and functional, a well-designed UI enhances the user experience by being both aesthetically pleasing and easy to use. Let's talk about the tasks involved. A UI designer's task is to take the concepts from UX designers and create clear visual representations. Then focus on typography, colors, style, branding, and layout. Lastly, ensure visual clarity and usability. A UX designer's task is to start with research to understand users and customers. Then conduct concepts and workshops to generate ideas and solutions to user problems. Lastly, focus on improving the overall user experience. While UI and UX designers often work on the same projects, they have distinct responsibilities. A UI designer is responsible for the visual representation of these concepts and ensure that users understand how to use the design features, whereas a UX designer is responsible for the overall user experience and user understanding also provide concepts and ideas to improve user interactions. When deciding between a career in UX design and UI design, it's important to understand the unique responsibilities, skills, and focus areas of each role. Here's a detailed comparison to help you choose the right path. Under UI design, we have visual design. This is used for crafting the look and feel of the product, including color schemes, typography, and visual hierarchy. Next, we have interaction design. 
This is to define how users interact with the product, including animations, transitions, and micro-interactions. Then we have design systems. This is used for creating and maintaining design systems and style guides to ensure consistency across the product. Next, we have prototyping, where we build high-fidelity prototypes to test visual designs and interactions. Lastly, we have collaboration, where we work with UX designers, developers, and other team members to implement and refine visual designs. We'll conduct interviews, surveys, and usability tests to understand user needs and behaviors. Then we have information architecture. This is used for organizing and structuring content to ensure it is accessible and logical. Next up, we have wireframing and prototyping. For creating wireframes and interactive prototypes to test and refine user flows and interactions. Now, user testing. This is used for running usability tests to gather feedback and iterate on designs. Next, we have collaboration where you'll be working closely with product managers, developers, and other stakeholders to ensure the design aligns with business goals and user needs. Next, we have workshops and brainstorming sessions. This is used for facilitating sessions to gather insights and ideas from various team members and stakeholders. If you're not sure which path is right for you, consider UI design if you have strong passion for visual design and aesthetics, Enjoy working on detailed solitary tasks that require deep focus, have a talent for creating clear visually appealing interfaces, and are proficient with design tools and have a good understanding of visual principles. Consider UX design if you enjoy working closely with people and facilitating collaborative activities, have a strong interest in understanding user behavior and solving complex problems, are patient with observant, with a knack for gathering and analyzing user insights, and prefer focusing on the overall user journey and experience. Ultimately, the choice between UX and UI design depends on your strengths, interests, and career goals. Both roles are crucial in creating successful products and offer rewarding career opportunities in the design field. Now let's talk about the salary overview for top UI and UX design roles. Let's begin with the UI design roles. A UI designer's average salary is 6,50,000 per year. A UI UX designer's average salary is 7,50,000 per year. A visual designer's average salary is 7 lakh per year. A interaction designer's average salary is 9 lakh per year. A UI developer's average salary is 10 lakh per year. Now let's talk about the UX design roles. A UX designer's average salary is 8 lakh per year. A product designer's average salary is 9,50,000 per year. A UX researcher's average salary is 12,30,000 per year. Information architecture's average salary is 14 lakh per year. And a UX manager's average salary is 18 lakh per year. These figures are derived from various industry reports and salary surveys to provide a comprehensive view of the salary landscape in India for both UI and UX design roles. Let's address some common questions that often arise. The top question we hear is, is coding required in UI UX? Well, UI UX designers don't need to code, but having basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript can be beneficial. It helps in understanding the possibilities and constraints of web design. Question number two, what tools are commonly used in UI UX design? Common tools include Sketch, Adobe, Figma, InVision, and Exure for design and prototyping, as well as user research tools like Usability Hub and Optimal Workshop. Question number three, what are the key skills for a successful UI and UX designer? Key skills include strong visual design skills, user research and analysis, wireframing and prototyping, usability testing, and excellent communication and collaboration abilities. I hope this video helped you clarify the differences between UX and UI design and provided you with some direction on which career path might be right for you. Let me know in the comments which path you think suits you the best. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Upgrad channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.